The Florida Panhandle is still reeling after Hurricane Michael, and that includes Tyndall Air Force Base outside Panama City. Suzanne Lawler shows you how the 5th Combat Communications Group at Robbins will play a key role in helping out their fellow airmen. Uh, it kind of hits me personally. Uh, I've been here about 30 days, and that's the base I came from. This current mission hits close to home for Technical Sergeant Clark Benefield. The 5th Combat Communications Group will spend at least the next two weeks helping out the folks at Tyndall Air Force Base. Uh, the Tyndall community, uh, very, very tight-knit. They call themselves Team Tyndall. The base outside Panama City put this on their Facebook page, that they sustained extensive damage, and the images explain it all. It's in a, it's in a world of hurt, uh, needs, needs as much effort as we can provide. It's, it's heartbreaking to know that it, that's here on our shores, um, but it's something that we're we're ready for and that we're trained for and we're ready to support. Fifth Mob Commander Derek Huber says they loaded five semi trucks worth of stuff Friday. Most of it will be used to get the communication up and going at Tyndall, and that will help countless others suffering in Michael's aftermath. Also opens up the base, so the base will be, be able to start that limited operations so that they can they can actually bring in aircraft, um, bring in those relief efforts. Commander Huber says the Fifth Mob is the only active duty unit responding. The benefit of Robbins being just up the road is we can always send reinforcements. Yeah, it makes me feel good to go back and support the people that, that I was with for the last four years. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. The fifth mob left at 2 this afternoon and hope to reach Tyndall by this evening.